All right, Shalom Akim. Yabashim Shai brought a thumb to you, brothers. Above all people, Jack Johnson, the Israelite. That's the title of this lesson. I'll praise it to Yabashim Shai, the bonds of the apostles over there at Great Millstone. I just want to do a quick lesson, man. I had ran into um, I had ran into this TikTok video that led me to want to talk about a spiritual moment that happened with Jack Johnson. <laughs> Who is Jack Johnson? Uh, he was a boxer, and he was the first so-called Afri African American um, boxer to become the heavyweight champion of the world. But in 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 that that let that fight uh we gonna go into it and that fight something happened let's play this quick little clip real quick let's play this real quick finally in the 14th round as johnson moved in for the kill The police stopped the fight to save Burns' further humiliation and ordered the movie cameras to stop grinding. When finally Burns is about to be knocked out, the world is spared the spectacle of a black man knocking out a white man, and the world is denied access to this historical moment because the white supremacy of the universe in 1908 is so demented and extreme, the knockout is stopped and the film is stopped. As your brother and sisters just seen, Jack Johnson, when he was fighting that fight, instead of letting this Israelite man, because he's an Israelite, instead of letting him follow all the way through with it, the police stopped the fight. The police came out of the crowd and stopped the fight. And they paused the cameras. And wouldn't allow and, and wouldn't allow Jack Johnson to finish off Tommy Burns. <laughs> and that's why, hey, above all people, the Negro, Latino, and Native American descendants, as you see on the screen. All right. Judah is the Ameri uh, 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 the American, the so-called Negroes. Benjamin is the West Indians, all in the islands, Jamaica, Guyana. Levi is the Haitians. Uh, Ephraim is the Puerto Ricans, Manasseh is the Cubans, Simeon is the Dominicans. Zebulon is the Central Americans. Gad is the North American Indians. Reuben is our Seminole Indians. Asher is uh, South America, Colombo, Colombia to Uruguay. Issachar is the so-called Mexicans, and Naphtali it's Argentina to Chile, South America, uh, South, Southern, South, Southern, West, South America. We the Israelites. Jack Johnson beat that dude so, so, so crucially. They had to have the police stop the fight. They stopped rolling the cameras. They wouldn't even allow it to happen. Because why? We're better than everybody. And that's just how the Lord created us. This Deuteronomy 7 and 6, it says, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Ain't nobody messing with us, man. None. And that's why that dude got beat like that. I even found the article on it from December 26, 1908. This is way back during the time of Jim Crow era laws. And that dude, Jack Johnson, since he had that talent, him being a, 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 a Israelite, you know, his people being in slavery, Jim Crow and all of that, since he had that talent, he had a little bit of, a little more freedoms than the average everyday uh, Negro. And we're going to read about this. It's pretty crazy because look at what they said. I'm going to go straight to the highlighted points. But this is on a... Um, a website called thefightcity.com. It says, 1926-1908, Burns versus Johnson. It says, that day, Jack Johnson systematically dismantled, systematically dismantled comedian, I mean, a Canadian, Tommy Burns, forcing London, a pro-Burns observator, into admitting that the fight was a misdemeanor for the event. Slaughter 
was the more fitting description. So that even Esau was like, damn, Burns got slaughtered by, by Johnson. <laughs> and when you read this article, Johnson had to basically chase this dude around to even fight. Because Esau, the Edomites, the self-proclaimed white people, all right, they didn't want to fight against Jake because they knew they would lose. That's what they did know. You know? Let's read a little bit by, about, about uh, Jack Johnson. <laughs> he saw them. He saw them want to get. They don't want to fight, man. He saw them want to fight. He's going to shoot you. You know what I mean? Because we're better than them. We were created better than them. We're stronger than you. We're smarter than, than you. We're faster than you. We're more better critical thinkers, analysts. Okay? We look better than you. Our women look better than you. Our rods is bigger than y'all's. We dance better than you. We can have sex better than you. Women want us better than you. <laughs> you eat them out of there. You suck. I'm sorry. You suck. This is Jack Johnson. It says, I had to contend with these difficulties as well as 44-inch ring opponents before he finally granted a chance to prove himself against the best. And up until then, he fought often. He fought everywhere. And he fought everyone. Everyone, that is, except the highly ranked champion, James Jeffries, who would rather retire undefeated than risk his title against a black fighter. Because we the best. It says, outside the ring, Johnson was eager to de demonstrate to Jim Crow. L listen to this part. It says, Johnson was eager to demonstrate to the Jim Crow era society of the time that no one could tell him what to do or how to live. He dressed in the finest clothes, bought the fastest cars, socialized with anyone and everyone he wanted to, and even enjoyed the affections of white women. <laughs> I've heard the apostles bring this out, and, uh, 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 specifically Elder Bishop uh, Tazadagba. You know, I think even his uh, YouTube handle was Jack Johnson, one of them, you know. But... Jack Johnson, since his talent was so grand, he had he they excuse him. They wouldn't they will excuse this man to be able to dress nice. They wouldn't say who is this nigga on this nag? Or why does this nigga got this and that? They didn't do that to him because his skill made up for all of that. And he enjoyed white women. It says, and even enjoyed the affections of white women, an offense for which black men were lynched. <laughs> he didn't care. He was sleeping with white woman. He didn't give a freak about what anybody said. He was a champion. <laughs> now, uh, uh, what's that? That that uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, the one that said he's he's a relative of Marcus Garvey. I think it's Marcus Garvey. Uh, uh, what's his guy name, man? He wouldn't like Jack Johnson because, according to that guy, uh, uh, sleeping with white woman and being with white woman destroyed our race. <laughs> You know what I mean? But here it is. He saw it and had his way with our woman. Come on, man. All right? The, the Edomite woman is a concubine. That's what she is. She's a, and, and, and if she's not good enough to be a, in the kingdom of heaven, if she's not going to be good enough to be a concubine, she's going to be out in them fields just like that. Okay? All right? And after a thousand years of slavery, according to the prophecies, even if she is a concubine, she's going to have to go to the burning. Because they're going to be exterminated off the planet according to the prophecies of Obadiah in Revelation the 18th chapter. Okay? So, uh, it says, A self-educated man and an avid reader, his intelligence was a huge asset in the ring. He, When he fought, Johnson used body movement to dodge punches and ter uh, terrific hand speed to counter. He worked shrewdly and efficiently and made it all look extremely easy because... He's an Israelite to the point that during fights, he, he could hold multiple conversations with ringside spectators while he toyed with his opponents. <laughs> He'd be beating you up and talking to somebody at the crowd, in the crowd, you know? It says, and so Johnson, un, undeterred in his quest of becoming the first black heavyweight champion, he kept fighting against black fires. 
He allowed himself to relax, turning the fights into expositions, sometimes carrying his opponents against against white fighters. This is what he'll do against white fighters, Edomite fighters. It says against Edomite fighters, he vented his frustration, humil humiliating and battering them, relying on his skill, natural strength, and excellent punching power to knock them out. <laughs> so when he will fight against Esau, he will go hard. And that's right, man. Come on, this was during the time of the Jim Crow era when you couldn't even drink from the same fountain. You couldn't you had to go on the back of the bus. So when he fought against Esau, he would go hard, man. You know? He'll go hard. You know? So we're better than you Edomites. We're better, and that's just what it is. This is Genesis chapter 25. Check this out. Genesis 25 and 23. This goes back to Jacob and Esau, which Esau became the, uh, um, the Edomites. Esau was called Edom, became the Edomites, and their descendants are the, the, the self-proclaimed white people you see today. Okay? And then you had Jacob, and their descendants are the 12 tribes, the Negro Latino Native Americans. Now, this is the origins of the story. It says, And the Lord said unto her, Genesis 25 and 23, and the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people should be separated from thy bowels, and the one people should be stronger than the other people, and the elder should serve the younger. When we got separated, two nations came out. Esau's nation and Jacob's nation, Israel. All right? One of them will be stronger than the other. The Israelites are stronger than the Edomites. Esau. Jacob is stronger than Esau. Okay, and that's why uh, Jack Johnson slaughtered Tommy Burns uh, for the heavyweight champion with, with ease, made it a slaughter. No problem. And the other fighter didn't want to fight him because he didn't want to risk his undefeated record to a so-called black fighter. His name was, uh, was it Jeffries? What was his name? I'm going to put him on blast again. Uh, what was his name? Uh, where you at, Jeffrey? Um... Here you go. James Jeffries. He didn't want to fight. <laughs> he didn't want to fight. You know, but when you look up the word strong, I did it for the first today, first time today. It goes back to the Strong's H553. And the Hebrew word is Amatiza. This is my first time looking up strong when it said the one should be stronger than the other. But this would admit to be stronger. It says to be strong, alert. We're more alert than you Edomites. Courageous. We're more courageous. Brave. Stout, bold, solid, hard, brave, secure, firm, assured. We're more, we're, we're better mentally than you. That's what it's saying. Physically, mentally, we deal with situations better than you. We're more brave than you. You either might know it. <laughs> you know, it says to be determined, to make oneself alert, strengthen oneself. Persist in. We're more persistent than you Edomites. It says prove superior. Overall, we're more superior because the, the creator of the heavens and the earth made us more superior than you. Jacob is more superior than Esau. Okay? The Negro Latinos and Native Americans are more superior than the self-proclaimed white people. Let's look, check this out. I, I actually watched a lot of the fight. I, I see the films on YouTube. This old school fight, you know, and check this out. I'm going to go straight to that last round, that last round. Check it out. Completely tying up the champion. He forces Burns back in the clinches and literally handles the champion with ease. As round 11 comes to an end, there is almost a general feeling of compassion for the impossible task which Burns has undertaken. Round 12 was all Jack Johnson. In round 13, it appeared as though the police were going to step in and stop the fight as a result of Burns' weakened condition and the terrible beating he was taking. 
Here in round 14, Johnson rushes in, lands an uppercut, three left hooks, a tremendous barrage of punches, lefts and rights which have Burns helpless. At this very moment, in the early seconds of round 14, the police shut off the motion picture cameras and stepped into the ring awarding the heavyweight championship of the world to Jack Johnson. Here, in slow motion, you can see the blistering attack. Burns was absolutely defenseless just seconds before the police stopped the motion picture cameras and entered the ring to halt this very one-sided fight. Jack Johnson becomes heavyweight champion of the world, December 26, 1908. Beat him. Go ahead and beat him. Beat him. Beat him up, man. You know? Israelite, beat him up. The police stopped the motion pictures and stopped the fight. Because <laughs> we the Israelites. Hey. It's like it, buzz, man. I'm just a little excited, man. You know, you find, you be, you know, search a little things and figure out little things. You're like, oh, damn. You know what I mean? This is uh, Judah 5 and 17. It says, and while as they sinned, not against their God, they prospered because the God that have, the God that hated for iniquity was with them. But when they depart from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles, very sore, and were led, and were led captives into the land that was not theirs. And the temple of their God was cast to the ground, and their cities were taken by the enemies. So when we have the Heavenly Father with us, it's nothing you could do. When we don't have the Heavenly Fathers with us, we, we get destroyed. It says, but now are they returned to their God and are come up from the places where they were scattered and have possessed Jerusalem, where they were sank, where their sanctuary is and are seated in the hill country for it was desolate. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error against this people and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin and let us go up and we will overcome them. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by. Least the Lord defend them and their God be with them. And we become a reproach before all the world. When the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shemuel Al Shai is with us, you cannot touch us. But if the Lord is against us, that's when you can destroy us. And the Lord was with Jack Johnson right there because Jake was getting ready. It was, the, the tables was getting ready to turn. This is the early 1900s. The tables was turning. Jake was getting let up. And now we're all the way in 2023. And you see how Jake is doing whatever they want to do in America. You know? But more importantly, the Heavenly Father has woken up. His elect, his, his, he's waking up his elect. He's waking up his men, his prophets. The ones to, be, to receive salvation. And there's nothing they could do. It's nothing they could do, brothers. Just like Jack Johnson uh, slaughtered... Uh, Tommy Burns. It's nothing they could do. We're, all they're going to do is lose the fight. That's it. They're going to lose. Esau's going to lose. And we're better than them. And they know it. <laughs> just a real quick lesson, but I just wanted to talk about that real quick, man. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Hey, Yabashimel Shai, brought a thumb to all my brothers and you sisters out there. Hey, Shalom, stay up. 